All right, guys, welcome back to the Hard Rock Hotel. We are here with a special guest that, uh, that we got. This is actually a one, well, okay. We're at the Hard Rock Hotel, right <laughs> next door to us in the Xbox Lounge. B Borderlands 2 is playable. Yes. And here to talk about Borderlands 2. Howdy, I'm Jasper Foreman. And I'm, uh, I'm the lead guys. AI programmer on Borderlands 2. So we Very have the lead good. AI programmer here for Borderlands 2, and we're going to ask him some questions about uh, what we're showing off here. Also, uh, if you got any questions for Jasper. the lead AI programmer, yeah. Jasper, uh, in the chat here, send them over, and uh, if we can get to them, I'll, uh, I'll see about asking him. So Very why cool. don't you uh, just start by letting us know uh, what it is that you guys are showing off here in the Xbox Lounge. Oh yeah, off the other room we have a level called the Caustic Caverns. Basically, it's kind of a, a level full of like a. You know, obviously, it's in a cave mostly, and uh, there's a lot of construction things going on. There's also a lot of uh, goo and things like that, and a lot of uh, creatures that uh, kind of like come out of the goo and fight you, like uh, these little uh, buggy things called barkets that'll fly around and yeah, shoot at you. The and barkets. Yeah, and actually I've be able to. I've heard about these guys. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, yeah, they'll actually be able to like evolve and actually like uh, change into new and different things to to hurt you and horrible different ways. Cool. Well, which uh, characters are playable in the uh, Xbox Lounge? Currently over there we have the Gunzerker for one. Uh, he's, his name is Salvatore and he's able to uh, basically uh, dual wield guns. I, I, any nice. guns, that, like Borderlands is known for guns. Of course. And so we've got ridiculous numbers and you can actually dual wield any of them. If you want anything from doesn't like matter. a... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at two all. Two sniper rifles. Yes. Done. <laughs> Alright, wow. two sniper That's rifles. Use. Rocket launcher sniper rifle. Is two sniper rifles terrible? Huh? Well, you can't actually go into the iron sights and see through the scope. But if you want to get right up close to a guy, hey, it's up to you. Uh, my, my the hip with a sniper I, I'll, rifle. Go, I'll go sniper rifle in one hand, rocket launcher in the other hand the entire game. You do that. All right. <laughs> that's my, that'll be my strategy. It'll be fun. I'll kill myself a lot and <laughs> yeah, miss a lot. It'll probably. be amazing. I'll do two rocket launchers. How about that? Perfect. Okay. We'll see All right. who We'll play co-op. <laughs> There'll be three rocket launchers and one sniper, and one sniper rifle, rifle between rifle the two of us. As we dual wield. That'd be pretty awesome. Mm. Yeah. So in addition to the gun zerker, yes. <laughs> maybe one of you want to play this instead of just having all these combinations of guns. Why would uh, anyone want to do that? Well, well, go ahead. Maybe you'll convince me. <laughs> well, yeah, we've got no, the, Maya, cool. the siren. She's actually really cool, too. So what she can do is she can actually focus on one particular enemy and r lift them up in what's called a phase lock and send them to another dimension that kind of has them in stasis. So you can you know, leave them there and like, fight other guys, or you can just wail on them as long as you want and have your buddies wail on them too. Maybe you're while you're dual wielding your sniper rifles. There you go. Yes. Maybe maybe I can be Maya. Yeah. And you I'll can go need ahead you and to do that so I can so shoot can enough have times the time for the sniper to rifles to actually hit. <laughs> your dual wielding sniper rifles. There we go. And All how right. long do, will they stay in stasis or does that have to do with like how high the level is and uh, how long the stasis will stay? Yes, basically uh, my my <laughs> you already uh, answered it. Yes. <laughs> That's true. There, Never mind. Yeah. There's uh, basically <laughs> skills that can help you actually increase the duration of this phase lock okay. and uh, and very various other things that will affect it too. Cool. Cool. Very good. Um, so let's uh, let's talk about your role specifically on Borderlands 2. Lead AI programmer. I I imagine that a lot of people out there now. I'm an engineer, so I actually I have a Excellent. fair amount of insight into <laughs> knowing what uh, what that means. But why don't you give a, a an overview for the people that um, that don't really know kind of what goes into the programming of a game? What what is it that you're actually making happen in the game? So uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, essentially what I do is um, I work with the designers and all the other, uh, everyone else over there at Gearbox Software uh, to uh, actually make the, make the uh, enemies move and, and look and act uh, the way that everyone wants them to. So a lot of that comes down to actually being able to uh, navigate the world and move around in a way that makes sense and, you know, a way that they can Save actually... in a straight line all the time. <laughs> straight line through a rock, that would be bad. That's happened before in a couple of buggy <laughs> builds. Um, or be able to actually, you know, fly around. Uh, some, some of our characters, you know, will, will take off to the skies and be able to fly around like that. In addition, we want all that to work well with, the, with their various attacks and yeah. they want to hurt you. And uh, we also have, you know, friendly guys too. We want to make sure that uh, all of our NPCs are, are really... Uh, approachable and, and usable and interact with you and talk to you and you know look you right in the eye um, occasionally um, and, and actually do all the mission things and things like that awesome. all right that uh, so when you're when you're in the process of doing all this what what would you say has been the, the biggest challenge of, of all the different <laughs> monsters and friendlies and all these things you're talking about that you've had to do what, what's been the biggest challenge to like make make the AI work appropriately? Uh, reigning in the designers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Um, I mean, they, they always want to do more and bigger and, and different. And uh, for, for the most part, we've done that, you know, in spades on Borderlands 2. Uh, just occasionally you just get something that's like, well, I think that might actually be 
too crazy, too over the top, too too ridiculous that we might want to just tone it down a bit. And actually, that's the craziness that you see in the other room actually reflects that. Like it's 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 all over the top as it is. Occasionally, you don't want you know uh, you don't want your uh, big big guy actually leaping all the way across the level or, or various things like that or being able to uh, you know hurt you you know you know kill you in, in a couple of seconds. That's that we want to you know tone that down a bit so it's not too crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, and. Um, so I do want to remind people that if you're in the area, you can come by and you can play Borderlands 2 in the Xbox Lounge. You don't even at need a Comic-Con badge. Yes. At the At mm -hmm. the Hard Rock Hotel, second floor. Don't even need a badge. You can come in yeah. if, you're, if you're, you know, a couple states away. Get in your car right now. There's still a couple days left of Comic-Con. <laughs> there is. We'll be here. We're only day two. And, uh, and then you will be able to play it. Um, let's talk a little bit about, uh, there were a bunch of new uh, previews came out this morning in, in, from a bunch of different places, and they were talking about some new things. As I understand it, uh, they were talking about uh, character customization a bit. Can you uh, talk a little more about that in case someone hasn't read one of the articles? Absolutely. So in, in Borderlands 2, we really want to uh, have the player feel a little more unique with their character in addition to the, the skills and, and choosing your character and things like that, and obviously the loot. Uh, in addition to that, you can also pick up uh, new things like... Uh, uh, new uh, skins for your character as well cool. as heads. So you basically actually they, they come out just like the loot, uh, like everything else. Be able to see it, pick it up, and then it becomes and part then of the. It, or yes. And then you can actually it becomes kind of like a little bank where you can go to a little station and customize your character, swap heads, swap That's skins, really cool. all that kind of thing. So like in Borderlands One, where you could just like change the color of your hair and your your clothes. Now it's more than now, just that. Yeah, much more, much more unique. Awesome. Uh, should be much better experience to actually be able to see like oh well you know that's my friend Bob or that's my friend Jill. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. You could also, so we can and both play the Gunzerka and look different. We Absolutely. can. There I'll we have go. a different head. You have a completely different head. And are these are these items that you can like uh, trade with people when you collect them? Absolutely. So basically, yeah, if I pick up this, That's you know, awesome. one head that I already have, and like I found it again, I can go ahead and trade it to one of my friends. So You'll they only have that trade too. it if you already have it. Mm -hmm. No, well, some people want to that trade it. Sounds a little you. selfish. Hey, well, that's me. <laughs> I understand. He's I like, understand. oh, I got doubles now. You can have this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, and then there was uh, one other thing uh, in some of these previews. Yes, a new new thing that uh, is in Borderlands 2 and we just revealed, uh, I think, today, is uh, the badass rank system. That's so right. Someone had mentioned that, but oh, I actually don't know what that is. I've yeah. played Borderlands 2 All at right. the office I don't know bunch, what that is this yet, is too. All right, this is going to be exciting cool. for you guys. All right. I know. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah. Yeah, we already got, uh, you know, are the RP, all the RPG elements in Borderlands 2. Yeah. You can level up, get experience, do all the skills. But we wanted uh, to actually have the player do something that looks a little more uh, different and on the side of that. So we have uh, challenges. We had challenges in the first game, mm -hmm. but now these challenges will increase your badass rank. So basically you can be, a, be more badass as you keep going and kind of compare with your friends and things like that. <laughs> I'm more badass than you, it says in Borderlands yeah, 2. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wow. a number right there. Yep. I have going. always wanted a quantitative badass <laughs> rating well, for myself. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Oh, shoot. <laughs> um, basically, once you get these badass ranks more and more, you get badass tokens. And these tokens will actually be able to be spent, and you can actually uh, choose if you want to add some more stats. So you might be able to add huh. up, get a little bit more health or a little bit more shields. Uh, anything, and there's actually a whole array of things that you can increase uh, for the stats of your character. I've That's also badass. always wanted how badass I am to actually make <laughs> me better in the video game. You actually become more badass. How badass is that? That, that is amazing. And to completely yeah. in line with, uh, with the spirit of Borderlands. Yes, absolutely. In addition to all of that, uh, what's really amazing about it, because it, um, it's, it's profile-wide, so it applies to all of your characters. Oh, okay. So I'm sitting there playing, say, you know, uh, the okay. good Zerker or Salvatore for a little bit, yeah. doing these challenges, building up this badass rank. It's actually building up the same stats and rank on my other character as well, maybe my, my Siren. Mm -hmm. I might go over to her and play her for a bit, and she has all of these stats added in as well. Oh, that is really cool. I well, like that. I, I, I was going to ask you how you, uh, how, how did you guys approach I'll still ask you. Maybe you have another. Maybe okay. you have another example. <laughs> you take Borderlands One. Borderlands One is without a doubt mm -hmm. uh, over the top, uh, amazingly loud, uh, badass game. I yes. mean, it, anyone who's played it knows that it, it is it is is crazy. It's like a, it's like a video game on crack. At least <laughs> that's 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 my uh, that's my experience with it. I absolutely lo uh, love it. Should be our next it. headline: video yes. game on crack. Yeah, you can uh, we can use that. Yeah, I work for the company. They they own that. <laughs> they own that. It's, it's already done. 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 done deal. It's done. All right. It. Sorry, it's on the box. <laughs> okay. Uh, so how did how did you take that and then go? Well, now we have to make something that's bigger and more badass. And you know, I, how do you approach that? It seems like a, a difficult thing to start from. It's like you yeah. already basically started to set off to create the most badass game. <laughs> yeah. Actually, and now you made it badass. -er. Badass here. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, actually, that was a really interesting challenge because we had this great like base of a game to start with, mm -hmm. and then we had to sit there and discuss like what what do we add? How do we how do we actually make this, take it to the next level? You know, turn it up to eleven. Uh, and basically, what we did is we just add more and better. It's just everything's more and better. So everything. More guns. Yeah, more guns, more loot, more everything. Everything from yeah, like even even uh, not just the guns, but yeah, the the shields, the class mods, uh, the grenades. Actually, some really cool grenades out there. And so even more than the loot, though. That's right. I really like the grenades in the, uh, some in the first one. Oh, the I, I haven't seen the second one. Oh, okay. Yet. Well, maybe you should get out there and play some of that a little bit. We're going to have to go yeah. do some homework. Can we go play that demo? Yeah. There's a little bit of a line. Maybe a we can get a guys a I think we can. One. All right. Yeah. We should. And then I'll just walk in and say, I'm kind of a big deal. And I'll push everyone else out of the way. We should. We should do that live. Some gameplay. Now, were you... Changing. Oh, did you have, did you have something there's to say? I mean, there's also uh, more enemies, more environments, uh, things like that. Everything's more and better. That that is really cool. Now I was going to change subject because you reminded me when we went to the Xbox launch. Uh, did you see when uh, when Hodor was on stage in the Xbox launch? Uh, I saw him walking around. I was in the middle of something, so I didn't get to actually uh, talk to him. Was that last him. night? That was yesterday. yesterday? We, someone yeah. said Hodor's on stage, so we all ran over to the Xbox lounge. Hodor from Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. Uh, was on stage in the Xbox lounge. And uh, I was jealous of you guys getting to work. And I hold or didn't come. Have in you here, guys seen uh, any famous people while being here? Anyone of a notoriety? Uh, I saw some guy walking around with an entourage and like a, someone holding a binder to his uh -huh. face. So, but I couldn't see him. He looked, he looked famous. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, thank you for coming and talking to us. I know Absolutely. you got to uh, get back on over to the Xbox Lounge, working hard mm -hmm. all day long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for talking to us. We're gonna uh, cut to uh, the Borderlands trailer that we just released mm, yesterday. Yesterday morning. It was yeah. yesterday morning. Early yesterday. All right. Brand new trailer. Awesome it is trailer. a really awesome trailer. So you guys are going to watch that. And we've got a little more in store for you the day, uh, today. You know that we have an interview with Pete Murray about XCOM Enemy Unknown. With uh, We're going to get to a lot of the questions you guys have, uh, you guys have asked throughout the day. And, uh, and we've got even more surprises in store. So stick with us and enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> 